Whatever came from there created the paradoxes. Caused the gates to appear, and twisted the timeline. <gasps> Lightning! What did you see? I don't know. It was an enormous power. Something that shouldn't exist in this world. Only Etro can control the power and keep it contained in Valhalla. If she were to disappear, there would be nothing to stop it. And that's what Caius wants. He plans to find Etro sleeping in her temple, kill her, and release the power. The chaos would be unleashed into the world of humans, into our world, through the Unseen Gate. A gate? When a person dies, her soul flies to the other world and passes through that portal. If a great many people die at once, the gate must open wide to let them through. For example, if Cocoon should fall. Exactly. It would be unstoppable. The power of chaos would gush through the gate like flood water through a broken dam. What would happen to the world then? Chaos would infect everything. It would become pure entropy, without life, or death, or time. No life or death? You mean like Valhalla? <gasps> That's what Caius is after! If he can bring down Cocoon, millions of people would die, and the power of Chaos... would turn this world into another Valhalla. Yes. Caius is trying to create a world where time does not exist. If he can erase time... Yule would be saved. And not just Yule. All the Cirruses down through the ages. They'd be released from their curse. <clears throat> he wants to sacrifice Cocoon to rebuild the world in Valhalla's image, all for the sake of Yule. That's why you were fighting Caius in Valhalla. You're protecting Etro. We have to face Caius on two fronts, in Valhalla and in the world of humans. If we don't, we won't be able to change the future. I can't do it on my own. I need your help. Lightning then told us what would happen to Cocoon. In 500 AF, the old Cocoon would collapse and fall into pulse, the crystal pillar no longer strong enough to support it. By that time, Hope and the Academy would have completed the new cocoon, but... When they attempted to launch it, Caius would intervene. He would smash it into the old cocoon and bring them both down. So we have to travel to 500 AF and stop Caius from destroying cocoon. If we can change this prophecy, then the true timeline will finally be restored. Yes. Everything will depend on you. I have to go to Valhalla and stop Caius there. Can you do it? We can do it. Right. Your good luck charm will show the way. Leave it to me, Kuba! Lightning, we'll be able to be together again, right? When all this is over? Hmm. One thing at a time, Sarah. The truth is, I didn't want to let her go. I'd come so far to find her, I was afraid to lose her again. But I had to be strong, for her sake. She had her own battles ahead of her. So I swallowed the words I wanted to say and hid my fear. It was the hardest thing I ever did. Moogle Hunt is now better than ever. We now have the advanced Moogle Hunt. Which means that thing, wherever it went, there it is. Is now ours. My mug. Map of New Bodom. Eh, they'll just come after us. 
What do you find? Artifact of the Ark. Lightning can't remain beyond the boundaries of Alhalla for long. But still, I was finally able to talk with her. And it's all thanks to Nora. Let's go keep Hope's new cocoon in one piece. If we pull it off, then lightning can return fully to a restored world. Anything else? Here's something. Supply sphere access code. And we get Hope's message. Hmm, what's this? A message? Greetings, Sarah, in the future. Can you hear me? I'm sending you the access codes for the supply spheres. The final battle with your ultimate nemesis draws near. I hope the contents are of some use to you. Good old Hope. He's still helping us fight. I guess the future is in our hands now. Alright, it's time for us to uh, head back and save the world. This chapter, this is one of the reasons why this game is so amazing. been given a second chance by the goddess herself. We're going to save the cocoon that Hope built. Yep. And save the future, too. <laughs> hey, Caius. You told us you wanted to save Yule by destroying the world. That if you could take away our future, Yule wouldn't have to see any more prophecies and she wouldn't have to die. Or fool. Yule never wanted the world destroyed. She... In the end, when she died, she was smiling. She saw a future of hope. Caius Ballad, I am going to fight you and show you the truth. I'm going to show you the future that you really wanted. This must be the goddess's will. Please, let time, the world, escape the nightmare it faces.
I see you've finally obtained the prize of your choice. Congratulations to you both. I must admit, I enjoyed playing against opponents like yourselves. I'd like to thank you for making it worth my time. This is a fragment, right? If I take this with me, this world won't disappear or anything like that, will it? We'll be fine for the time being. After all, this world is but a dream, a fantasy, a place that doesn't exist. However, if you can find a place for us in your hearts, we will continue to live on for all of eternity. Even if you disappear, you'll live on forever? That is the ideology and belief of our creator. What do you mean, creator? Who are you? You know who I am. I am the owner of this fine casino. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> do you have any questions on... to come back whenever you need to. I'm glad to see you're both safe. Alyssa isn't here. Occasionally, she ducks out on what she calls her secret errands. She refuses to tell me where she goes. One chaos crystal, just like you ordered. Just don't ask for any more. <laughs> That's incredible. May I borrow it for a while? Of course. As promised, I'll have a prototype weapon ready for you soon. Can you come by the front desk to pick it up later? <laughs> <laughs> 